This thief is actually peeing in someone's car, and he is enjoying it. Just as he is about to escape, he finds that the door is locked. He tries to open the other doors, but all of them are locked. He frantically slaps the steering wheel, then grabs a wrench from his bag and hits the rear windshield of the car. However, he finds the glass strangely strong. The man is panicking, he uses the wrench to scrape the floor but finds that the floor has been reinforced with steel. Yes, he is imprisoned in the car. Welcome to Movie Ape Channel, today I will bring you a crime and thriller movie, 4x4. A few minutes ago, as usual, Ciro used a tennis ball to press the door handle of the car, and then easily entered the car. Then he removed the stereo, which he was going to sell for a few hundred dollars. He even tried to steal the owner's sunglasses. But now he is trapped in the car. Next, he hides behind the seat and tries to break the front windshield with his gun, but the bullet bounces off and hits him in the thigh. Ciro hurriedly takes off his shirt and uses it to bandage the wound. Suddenly, a woman passes by and she is applying lipstick using the car door window. Ciro screams for help, but there is no response from her. It turns out that this car is not only bulletproof but also soundproof and polarized. Then Ciro tries to call for help, but his phone is dead. It is very hot in the car, so he grabs his Pepsi and drinks it. Nighttime comes, he is thirsty and struggles to sleep. In the morning, as there is no water, he has to lick the dew on the glass. He starts to get bored, so he installs the stereo back to see if he can find a way out. Just then, the car owner calls. He tells Ciro that the car had been modified and is as strong as a prison, so don't even think about getting out. Ciro gets very angry and he starts to abuse the owner, but the owner hangs up the phone and then the air conditioning in the car is turned on remotely. At first, Ciro enjoys it, but then the temperature gets lower and lower, the car is like a fridge and his body is shivering. So he unties the shirt from the wound and puts it on hurriedly. He then tore off the papers and tries to use them to block the air vents. But apparently, it won't work, he has to cover his body with a floor mat and waits for death in the car. Just as Ciro is about to freeze to death, the air conditioning is suddenly turned off remotely. The car owner calls and asks Ciro a question, Johnny Depp or Amber Heard? The owner says he will give Ciro water if Ciro gives the correct answer, but unfortunately, his answer is Amber Heard. Then the owner hangs up the phone, realizing that he has lost his chance to drink water, he breaks down. The next day, the owner calls and asks a question again, Brad Pitt or Jennifer Aniston? His answer is Jennifer, and he finally gets it right. So, following the owner's instructions, Ciro finds a hose from the back. This should be windshield wiper fluid, he bottled the fluid, then drank it greedily. Then Ciro sees a peer who wants to steal the car, he is very excited. Unluckily, an old man passes by and chases the thief away, and he loses his chance to escape. At night, Ciro is bored, he keeps pressing the start button, and the car accidentally starts. He is thrilled and immediately puts on his seatbelt. He turns his head, aims at a telephone pole, then reverses and hits it hard. Then he kicks off the rear windshield and climbs out of the car. After being trapped in a car for days, he is starving. So he finds the nearest fast food restaurant, grabs a bottle of water and two burgers, sits down, and then gobbles them up. Soon a security guard comes to stop him since he has not paid yet. But the security guard never expects Ciro to pull out a gun. He wakes up and realizes it was just a dream and he is still imprisoned in the car. In the morning, he is so hungry that he rolls the paper into a ball and imagines it as a hamburger, then puts it in his mouth and eats it as if it is real. After eating he is even more thirsty, so he finds a warning triangle box, pisses into it, and then drinks all this self-made yellow coke. On the fourth day, the owner calls to tell Ciro that there is chocolate hidden behind the brake. So he hurriedly picks up the chocolate and gobbles it up, he has never tasted such delicious food before. After a while, a police officer comes to check the car, since it has been parked here for days. This may be his last chance, Ciro screams for help again, and he hits the windshield frantically to try to get the attention of the police, but the police cannot see or hear anything. At night, he thinks he's going to meet Jesus soon. Just then, the owner finally appears, and he turns out to be a doctor with cancer. The doctor pulls Ciro out of the car, and drags him into the street, deliberately drawing the attention of the police. Soon the situation escalates to a public standoff, and the doctor holds Ciro hostage. When the media arrives, the doctor explains everything. It turns out that the city has been full of theft and crime in recent years, but the corrupt police and government officials have done nothing. Good citizens like him are forced to handle problems themselves, for example, his car has been stolen for the 28th time. His purpose tonight is to attract media attention in hopes of waking up the general public. Then he lets Ciro go, he walks into his car with a smile on his face, and puts a phone that is counting down on the top of his car. Then the car explodes and the doctor leaves the world in anger. 
and Ciro will pay the price in prison for all the crimes he has committed over the years.